The attack on the synagogue in Rome left one infant dead and 37 people wounded. It was the latest in a series of assaults on Jews in Europe where anti-Semitism is too often a way of life. There have been no reported assaults on synagogues in this country and of course none here in Tidewater. But Jewish leaders in this area aren't waiting for the bigots to strike. Dr. Barry Einhorn of Radical the Jewish Federation of Tidewater knows the enemy is out there. Uh, they've identified themselves openly as being anti-Semitic, anti-black, and they uh, do all sorts of physical things uh, against the people whom they prefer to, to pick out. The Federation, through its weekly paper, has alerted the Jewish community to the threat. This article contains a startling statistic that 76% of Jews surveyed locally feel anti-Semitism is a problem here. We wonder why they feel this way. To find out, Einhorn has begun a committee to explore the reasons. It will also investigate letters like these which Jewish organizations have recently received, as well as incidents like the decorating of a Jewish home in Churchland with swastikas and other graffiti. The Jewish Federation learned that their perpetrators were some kids from a nearby school here in Portsmouth. So they received permission to come to the school and teach all the youngsters there why anti-Semitism is wrong. The theory being that the best defense against religious hatred is education. This is Joel Rubin, The Daily News.